All right, guys, welcome back. CFP here, and this is Survival Living. So today, we actually have some products here I want to go over with you. Uh, as you know, we have teamed up with Faraday Defense. They provide many different products to protect your cell phones, laptops, even your solar generators. They also have material that you can actually create your own Faraday bags, Faraday cages. Um, and also, you can actually even apply this stuff to the walls of your house and make a Faraday room. Um, link is in the description on most of those items. But today, we have some products that they sent us, and we went ahead and ordered some more material from them so we can actually build our own Faraday bags and Faraday cages. So right fast, guys, we have the jacket. This is a cell phone uh, protector. All right, so we do have that. They sent us this. This is one of those things that you can put your cell phone in and blocks out um, multiple different types of signals so you actually keep your information, stuff like that safe in your phone and we also have a EMP Nest Z Faraday bag this one here is designed for laptops that's why we have the laptops out so we're gonna go over these things right fast I'm gonna show you different things on these and uh, hopefully the bag stays up there all right let's get into it so we're going to start off with the Faraday jacket this is for your cell phone guys now I've seen other companies that have came out with these cell phone bags and they've got a sliding window that you can still operate your phone um, I don't know about those products because one I don't have them and there was concern that I've seen from other people if you got a sliding window that you can operate your phone isn't there still a signal coming in and out well just depends on what the material is made out of <clears throat> there is protective film that these companies make and that you can actually operate your phone as long as it's not being connected to a signal you know like if you got a game or something that works offline yeah you know so technically it would still work but their bags here the Faraday jacket here it does not have an open window alright so this thing uses a double roll system to shut you got a piece of velcro runs across the top here and the receiver of the velcro there so you just roll it down and now is sealed so right fast let's go ahead and kind of show you the inside here all right as you can see here is a fabric type of material but I'm kind of curious what the material is so I went ahead and pulled up their information and we can actually see what type of materials inside this Faraday bag so inside the bag guys this is actually a three layer of metal plated cyber fabric lining all right this is something that the uh, cyber fabric lining that's a material that they produce and they use for their bags um, they actually do sell the material itself if you're making your own bags and things like that but this here they've already put it all together in one type of bag so with the jacket it blocks your cell signals your GPS your RFID your Wi-Fi and maintains your device in integrity keeps from remote accessing your cell phone as long as it's inside this bag so it's something to be looking at we're gonna be looking at a lot of these and maybe even the larger ones for our group here at the home because when we have our meetings inside our prepper community when we're all meet up together right now we've got a makeshift Faraday bags uh, box that is outside our area so we can drop it in while we have our meeting but let's say that you got to go to bug out locations things like that it's nice to have your cell phone with you in case there's an emergency but you don't want to be tracked I don't want to be tracked so if you already got this you got your cell phone in this blocking out your signal you still have the ability to have your cell phone with you uh, a lot of phones today guys you cannot take the batteries out I've run into that with all the newer phones now there might be some phones that you can do that but all my phones and all of our phones you can't take the battery out so you kind of left up to you know you can turn it off but they could always turn it back on so something like this is pretty cool to have so what we're going to do guys we're going to uh, show you how easy this thing is to actually go in now I've got a protective case on my cell phone so it makes my cell phone just a little bit larger but you just slide it down just like that like I said you just fold roll your velcro and now our cell phone is blocked out this blocks out our Wi-Fi our GPS everything nothing's coming in nothing's coming out it's protected from anything that they can throw at it as far as any type of signaling and stuff like that so it's lightweight of course the fabric is lightweight um, now these little windows here these could be you could you know the little emergency 
card in things you can either put contact information in it if you want to. They're, they're just little drop windows, you know, emergency play cards, whatever it is that you want to put in that thing. Um, you definitely can. So it's not a window to operate your phone or anything like that. This thing, when it's sealed, it's sealed. So yeah, very simple design. Like I said, they have the cyber fabric on the inside to help block out the signals and stuff. You just slide your phone in this, guys. Like I said, I've got a case on mine because I drop my phone all the time. Make sure it slides all the way down. And then all you got to do is fold it and fold it again for the double fold. And now your phone is protected. That way... I mean, if someone tries to call you, it's going to go straight to voicemail on their end. You're not going to be disturbed on this thing. And I didn't have to turn off my phone or anything like that. The phone is still on. We got it sitting in here. So, again, guys, that is the jacket by Faraday Defense. That is the one for the cell phones. They make many different styles and stuff like that. So, let's move on to the next thing here. All right, guys. So, this is our Faraday Defense EMP bag. This is a Faraday bag that's designed... For EMPs, it is the Nest Z series. If you go to the website, see the Nest Z that is designed for EMPs. So this is the 12 by 18, I believe it is. Yeah, 12 by 18 bag is for laptops. That's why we have a laptop here. Okay, guys. So I know this is all shiny and stuff. This is their Faraday Defense. This is their uh, Nest Z series EMP bag. Now this is this one here is the 12 by 18. It's designed for your laptops. Um, they have different sizes. They even have larger sizes for solar panels. Uh, as you can see, the material, it's got a uh, Ziploc on the top. Let me go ahead and open this up for you guys. Don't worry, it's not aluminum foil or anything like that. So i kind of show you the inside here. All right, so this material here, guys, is actually pretty sturdy. All right. Oh, so, yeah, it's sturdy material. Like I said, this is for laptops. This is the Nest Z series. Now, if you go to the website, the Nest Z series, those are their EMP equipment. They have a Nest Z series uh, film and stuff to make your own Faraday cages. You can also use it to line a wall, stuff like that. Um, they have the Faraday bags. Now, this is the smaller bag, like I said, for the computer for the laptop. They have much larger sizes, even ones for your solar panels. So, there you go. Now, like I said, guys, with these bags, this for a laptop, but you know what? You can fit it in there. You can put whatever you want to in there. We just take our laptop here, slide it down in there, seal her up, just like that. And I know that this computer is safe. Now, I have seen the questions before. Well, why am I worried about a computer on an EMP blast? There's no internet. Well, that is very possible. There might not be an internet. I mean, odds are the internet will be down if an EMP or coronal mass ejection was to happen. But the information that you can store on a computer and be able to have access to it, especially if you have the ability to generate your own power, like we've talked about solar generators and stuff like that, even a gasoline generator. Books, especially self-reliance books where you are being able to keep uh, information on edible plants, things like that, whatever it is that you download, movies, anything that you can think of that you want to have access to. Just like, excuse me, I had a sneeze. Uh, just like um, downloaded maps. Having maps is a great thing. You can actually load up a lot of maps on a computer. That's, I mean, that's the facts. And it's a lot cheaper if you download downloadable offline maps and you save them on file and you have to find out certain areas and things like that. A computer will hold a lot of information so that's why you know we try to protect our computers uh, our radios I mean even our radios guys I mean you've got ham radios two-way walkies whatever it is that you've got you can put in these bags and protect them so this right here is a good option for you you know like I said guys we are affiliated with Faraday Defense we've always been open about all of our affiliate programs things like that uh, links are in the description if you are interested in purchasing any of their items or you want to just browse around and take a look at what they have to offer so like I said guys we have the jacket cell phone alright this is something that you can actually carry around this is a defense for your cell phone I mean having the non tracking I like especially if I'm going to bug out locations and I just don't want people being able to track where I've got these things 
is you know using my cell phone to track this stuff my routes and everything else and this way I still have a cell phone on me in case of emergency if I have to I can always pull it out get a signal again and use the cell phone and like these Faraday bags guys like I said they got larger bags than this but this one here was designed sized up for a laptop computer very simple to use guys you just slide it in just like that all right and of course it's got the Ziploc right here and it's sealed so very easy to use and I, I said before this is the Nest Z series that is an EMP series this is not a Nest Z this is designed to block out signals from tracking and stealing information things like that on your cell phone it blocks out Bluetooth it blocks out Wi-Fi it blocks out your cell phone signal this is not EMP proof this is anti-theft anti-tracking um, proof that's what this one here is if you want EMP proof you get the Net Z, excuse me, Nest Z. And they got different sizes. They even got sizes for your cell phone. Now that cell phone protected. Any information I've got on that cell phone is safe. Now, during the EMP, things like that, will I be able to make a call on that cell phone? No, probably not. But the information I've got stored up on that cell phone will be safe and I can utilize that at a later date if necessary. All right, guys, so that is our review for what we have right now with the Faraday Defense products. We have also went ahead and ordered our own film. This is Nest Z. This is EMP film. Also, our copper taping and everything. This just got that in. We'll be doing a uh, build on our own Faraday cages. So that video will be coming up soon, and I'll be going step by step on that using actually quality material to actually block out signals and protect things because we have solar power generators we have those portable power stations being able to make your own system your own Faraday cage is pretty awesome I mean they do have Faraday bags for small solar generators small generators you know that's a great option to go with but if you want to customize your own Faraday cage you know they got the fabrics and stuff that you can actually use so anyway guys until next time talk to you later